Hey library people, my name is Erica and I am in the circulation department at the Warsaw Community Public Library and I just wanted to come on today and do just a quick little book review for you. I recently read a great book called A Prayer for the Dying. It takes place in a little town in Friendship, Wisconsin and they are also dealing with something very, very real to us, which is quarantine. It was a very surreal book to read considering this is fiction and it's supposed to just show the insanity that can happen when an outbreak occurs in a town and reading this during quarantine was very eye-opening and somewhat disturbing because you're kind of reading a fictitious story that's actually kind of taking place in real life it was one of those books that you really feel connected to because you're also living in that moment I will say though if you have a lot of anxiety maybe this book isn't for you because it can feel very, very real at times. But in this story, we have a man named Jacob. He is the town sheriff, the town undertaker, and the town pastor. And because of all of his professions, he gets to be a part of everyone's lives. So he starts seeing the outbreak when it first happens. And he and the town doctor have to make that really hard decision of, are we going to let people go about their everyday lives so we don't scare them? Or do we have to start quarantining people to make sure that this infection doesn't spread? Um, the story gets very crazy. It gets, it's a roller coaster from start to finish. But if you really enjoy books like this, if you really want to read a book about quarantine during your time in quarantine, I would say this one is for you. If you think this one is a little too close to home, but you still kind of want to be in that almost dystopian mindset, there are some other great books that you can find on our e-reader sources, such as Overdrive or Hoopla. You can read the Road by Cormac McCarthy. This actually won a Pulitzer. It's a fantastic dystopian novel about what happens when the world kind of collapses. You can also go back to your days of high school and read a fantastic classic, Fahrenheit 451, another great dystopian if you have the time for it. Or one of my favorite classics, Alas Babylon, which is what happens to the world when Russia and America actually engage in the Cold War and the nuclear bombs go off. Or you can go more modern and more younger. <laughs> you can go with The Hunger Games, which is a fantastic one. I'm sure most of you have seen it or heard about it. There's another young adult book, Divergent. Fantastic if you like that sort of world. Or even dive into The Mortal Instruments Inside the City of Bones. All great reads, everything that you can find through our website, through Hoopla or Overdrive or um, RB Digital, all fantastic ones that you can do. There are thousands of books that you can read on there. And so please be safe and enjoy your time reading.